Now I'll explain the pathophysiology of osteoporosis. Now on the left you can see bone resorption carried out by osteoclasts, giant osteoclasts colored in red. And on the right there's bone formation carried out by osteoblasts colored in blue. So the binding of cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor or TNF to osteoclasts promotes bone resorption. Receptor activator of nuclear factor ligand, or rank L, a family member of TNF, plays the key role in this process. Now, rank L is secreted by osteoblasts and binds to the rank ligand, and rank ligand binds to the receptors on osteoclasts, stimulating bone resorption. Osteoblasts also secrete macrophage colony stimulating factor, which is, or NCSF, which promotes the replication and proliferation of osteoclasts. They also have, well, osteoblasts also have a regulatory mechanism which reduces bone resorption by secreting osteoprotenogen or OPG, which acts as a decoy receptor capable of binding to rank L and reduces the number of active osteoclasts. Now, we'll just go over all those um, important molecules again. So, first of all, we have NCSF, and this promotes, secreted by osteoblasts, and it promotes the proliferation of osteoclasts. Next, we have rank ligand, which is also secreted by osteoblasts, and they bind to osteoclasts, increasing osteoclastic activity, increasing bone resorption. And last, we have OPG which is secreted by osteoblasts and binds to rank L, preventing it to bind to osteoclasts, lowering bone resorption. In postmenopausal women, the estrogen deficiency has a large impact on bone loss through the effects of hormones, TNB lipincytes, and rank ligand, as well as other cytokines. This results in a marked increase in osteoclast activity and a decrease in osteoclast apoptosis. Estrogen normally decreases rank ligand and MCSF expression. As you can see on this diagram, there's one rank and one N, depicting low amounts in the bone, in the body. Thus, if there's low estrogen, there's a significant increase in the rate of bone resorption, leading to postmenopausal osteoporosis. So as you can see on the top diagram, there's a lot of there's a large expression of MCSF and rank ligand, increasing bone resorption. Prolonged use of glutocorticoids, glutocorticoids increases rank ligand expression, which in turn inhibits OPG production. Now this man here in this drawing, and as you can see the man, he's taking glutocorticoids. And the bone loss induced by diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis and other types of diseases are caused by the imbalance of cytokines affecting rank ligand and OPG expressions. Now so as you can see here, taking glutocorticoids depletes OPGs, thus rank ligands can bind to osteoclasts, increasing its, its activity, osteoclastic activity, decreasing bone mass. Now there is yet to be a cure for osteoporosis. Now, current options can be categorized, current treatment options, sorry, can be categorized into physical therapy, lifestyle changes, and pharmaceuticals. Physical therapy is recommended to improve balance, mobility, and increase in muscle strain. Now, dietary and lifestyle changes are necessary to prevent any further fractures, and they include increasing, reducing, or avoiding particular foods and behaviors, as mentioned previously, uh, such as smoking or eating habits, basically. Now, pharmaceutical therapy not only treats the pain associated with osteoporosis, but also aims to prevent subsequent fractures from occurring. A standard drug treatment for osteoporosis is biphosphates, vitamin D, and calcium. Now, biphosphates drugs work by inhibiting osteoclast activity or reducing osteoclast activity and promoting or increasing osteoblastic activity. 
Thus, there is there is a lower there's lower bone resorption, which means there there should be uh, it, sh it should prevent subsequent fractures. And finally, here are the references. Um, please comment on this video, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment again or a message, and and please provide feedback. Anything would be appreciated. Thank you.